Alrighty, like I said in the last video, we turned to level 50. So I do a stupid dance. That's what I do, apparently. Okay, so into the dragon's maw. From Alberic and Corthus. Ah, oh, mercy. An urgent message arrived from Estinian in your absence. He bids you come at, at once to the Steel Vigil. It would seem Nidhogg is on the move, and rather sooner than we had anticipated. It appears you have not yet fully become master of the dragon within you, and yet we are racing against time. I fear we have no choice but to do battle to the... But... We have no choice but to do battle to the best of your current abilities, and without the Draken mail I promised. Drachen, Draken, whatever you want to pronounce it. D-R-A-C-H-E-N. I think it's Draken. <clears throat> now let us away. Estinian must know the truth of Fern, uh, Ferndale, lest he fall for the Great Worm's seduction. If I had a nickel for every time somebody was seduced by a worm. Let's just spend a hundred gil to teleport closer. Okay. And then... Norte. Por favor. <clears throat> a quick teleport to Camp Dragonhead from the Observatorium area. We run north to north to north to north and north to north to north. The direction you are running is north. And then I think every DPS gets this true north, speaking of north, this true north ability, which... I don't think Dragoon even has a this does more damage from the rear yeah I don't see any whatever okay um, we are approaching a looks kind of like the stone vigil uh, another large castle like well fortified giant stone buildings giant stone entryway big gate that's up and then unable to execute command while mounted Okay, I guess I gotta run through. Oh, there we go. Level 50 capped level sync event. Fade to black. You are walking among this castle or keep entrance, big stone guarded entrance. Albrick is with you, snowing heavily. And Estinian is here as well. Justinian points his lance at Albrick. Albrick, I have waited long for this day. You, who fancy yourself an Azure Dragoon, the man whose uh, whose cause you have taken for your own for your sorry, the man whose cause you have taken for your own is a coward. He relinquished the power of the dragon of his own volition and watched as Ferndale burned. Do you not think it ironic that I was chosen Azure Dragoon? I, an orphan who was not of value to protect a Nishgard? I suppose I must give thanks, for it was the eye that revealed to me the truth, a truth so damning as to undo a lifetime of trust. I loved you as a father, but I can ill forgive you for Ferndale. As I understand it, as I understand it, you've kept even the Archbishop in the dark regarding the missing eye. Do you mean to take your shame to the grave? To your grave? He takes a more aggressive stance toward uh, Elbrick. But I waste my breath. Prepare yourself, old man, for I shall lay waste to all the things you hold dear. Lay to waste all the things you hold dear. And once I'm finished with you, I shall do what no Azure Dragoon has succeeded in doing. I shall claim Nidhogg's head. Calm yourself, Estinian. Your rage renders you vulnerable to the dragon's influence. You start to walk forward toward Estinian. M Mercy? In you, I thought I had found kindred, someone beside whom I could fight the great worm. It is with a heavy heart that I relinquish that dream. Your affection for this coward has rendered you deaf to your own destiny. You have taken a combat stance against Estinian, in front of Alberic. Very well. 
that we would one day cross lances was inevitable from the moment of our first meeting, as we shall now find out who is the eye's true chosen. There can be only one. Highlander crap going on here, eh? Alright, dude. Let's go, then. Oh, yeah, a new, a new thing. Dang it. Hold on. Hold on. I got a new thing. I didn't even notice. Can you give me a second, please? So I got a damage over time ability, which is my kind of second closer. Oh, it's gonna be fun balancing these two, though, these two pathways. And now he summoned a dragon's eye somewhere. Wait, oh, there it is. That was easy to take down with one, one ranged attack. these dragon's eyes that he's um, summoning every once in a while just floating bluish purplish orbs I am undone he is undone a voice from within Feeble creature, dost thou desire power? You look around. Alberic walks kind of off away from you. You kind of walk away from Alberic. Look to thine anger and to thy hatred. It is there that you shalt, that thou shalt find it. O oh, mighty Nidhogg, lord of dragons, says Estinian. He's kind of down on one knee, one palm on the ground, and he slowly gets up. Alberic says, like, wait, no. Grant unto me thy blood, that I might be granted the claws and fangs wherewith to rend thine enemies. And then in the sky, there is a giant purpley black vortex that shoots some beam down kind of onto, onto a stinian. Grant unto me thy blood, that I might be granted the claws and fangs worthy. Yeah, okay, I did that part. A stinian is... Wait. Now there's two Astinians? One of them is kind of, kind of a purple, darkish glow to him. Mercy? This is, this is impossible. It cannot be. Oh, you have turned into kind of like a good dragoon, I guess, and you, sort of, kind of smited him with a. And then he's gone, as if that was kind of some kind of dream. And then you turn, like you, you, you slammed your spear into the ground, and it shot this beam of light up, like through a stinian. And he's just gone. And Albrecht is shaking his head. Forgive me, Estinian. I have failed you once again. I am fine, Mercy. Somewhat shaken, but otherwise whole of body. Suffice it to say, I have much to reflect upon. Let us return to the observatorium. And then it kind of zooms out. Oh, no. You don't see anything else. Just it zoomed out as you were walking away. The soul of the, dra the dragoon shines with unbound something. Brilliance, I'm hoping it said. You know, some of us are reading this aloud for people to listen to, so. Slowing it down just a bit would be nice, at some point. Hmm. <sighs> Running south, 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 south for a while. Let's 
through Camp Dragonhead. Camp Dragonhead is like the big kind of fortress. Um, fortress is a good word. Have I used that word before? I keep saying castle and like walled off courtyards and it's a fortress. I think a fortress is a good way to describe a an outpost of sorts. It's not a town. I mean, it, it might be self-sufficient as a town. I think they have healers, the chirurgeons. They have a leader. They can probably go out hunting for food. But it's kind of more of an outpost, I suppose. Just like there are buildings and whatnot to support the observatorium here in this area. Here's Alberic. Cutscene, fade to black. <clears throat> when the being of darkness closed upon us, you appeared to me the spitting image of Haldrath, the dragon's eye, just as he is depicted in the holy scriptures. I thought that mayhap the years had taken their toll in my mind, but behold, the soul of the dragoon shines as it, as it never did in all the years I bore it. It would seem you have achieved that which was, which was thought impossible. You have awakened to the ability that none but the first Azure Dragoon possessed. Truly a momentous achievement. I can still scarce believe that <clears throat> you were able to summon the self-seeming Draken mail worn by Haldrath, to think that it had been sealed within the soul crystal all this time. I have borne witness to many and more wonders over the years, yet none compares to you, my young Dragoon. Could it be that you are... Hmm. Mark not my mutterings. I am certain that it was your indomitable sense of justice that res resonated within the spirit of the first Azure Dragoon, prompting him to bestow the honor armor upon you. Yes, that is doubtless what happened. As the being of darkness faded, so too did Nidhogg's aura subside, and now his kind have ceased their stirring. Whether this was compelled by your awakening, I cannot say. I suspect we will learn the truth of it eventually. Astinian, my dear boy, whatever becomes of him, he will... He will ever be as a son to me. I pray that he is somewhere out there still, and that he has not wholly forgotten the great man he once was. Has not wholly forgotten. When that darkness brushed against me, the self-same torrent of emotion swept over me as those I experienced twenty summers past. But there was something else besides. There was a voice, and it lamented the rift that di uh, divides dragons and men. You will come to uh, comprehend what I speak in due time. Till then, Mercy, I pray that you will ever use your newfound strength in the name of justice. Alright. Dragon fire dive. Delivers a jumping fire based attack with a potency of 300 to the target and all enemies nearby it. Cool. Two minute cooldown. <laughs> Your inner dragon grows stronger. This concludes the dragoon quests for Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. Must complete the main quest in there, blah 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 blah, yeah. We'll do. Achievement unlock Dragoon Age 1. Okay, so that's another cooldown. <laughs> eh, I'll leave my I'll leave things where they were. Cool. Down. <laughs> um so it does, yeah, it does more from, so finally we get Chaos Thrust, which does more from the rear. It's my first one. Okay. And Chaos Thrust is, um, does damage, but mo most importantly does damage over time for 24 seconds. It does not pair well. Timing wise, with the other abilities that I have. Okay, well, whatever. I got time. Let's go to Camp Drybone. How much does this cost? 381? Yeah, let's go to 
in Linosha, I think. Yeah. Limsa Lominsa. We'll take the airship. Take Thanalan. Or Ulda. Same thing. I've decided I am going to do Paladin and White Mage on the heels of getting the ability to fly. So, yeah. Save me like 30 gil. Whatever. You don't need to bother. I don't need to be. I don't need to be. Don't keep drifting farther. Lambertiant. Lambertiant? Hmm? Why, yes, I am Professor Lambertiant. Beg pardon? You wish to hear about my research on corrupted crystals? Truly? Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to discuss my work with a fellow woman of science. I know science. Sealed with science. Ah, so rare it is to find fellow intellectuals in this region. It is even rarer to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. Come to think of it, there was another, a hermit to whom the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow, unsociable, rather daft at first impression, yet possessed of an amazing affinity toward the scientific pursuits. But to the matter at hand, did you say that you wish to not did you say you wish not to conduct field observations, but to harvest a corrupted crystal? He gads, woman. At least take the necessary precautions so that you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I'm beginning to wonder if you have sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. Luckily for you, I have precisely the means by which these inherent dangers may be averted. Simply store the crystal you seek within this warded pot to protect yourself from its deleterious effects. Though I suppose you will be bombarded with its energies until you place it within the vessel. Well, perhaps it shall motivate you to work quickly. In any case, take that pot... Take the pot to Hahasako, a student of mine monitoring the flow of Aether and Highbridge. Explain to him your quest, and he shall instruct you in the finer points of crystal harvesting. You said a lot of words. Some of them were big. We're back in the plains, sort of deserty area of Eastern Thanalan. Yeah? Yeah. Go back to High Bridge, which is a bridge that is high over a very deep chasm. Scary, scary. And we go down some stairs here to find Hahasako, a Lalafell, wearing red. I think red robe. Red robe. Um, how many how many times must I, must I be made to explain myself? I am not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I have chosen this precise position to perform scientific measurements. You hand over the warded pot. What have we here? A containment vessel? Why, this is the handiwork of Professor Lambertiant. You thieving knave, I shall call for the... Oh, you say the man himself lent it to you? Then you must have sought me out for his instruction. 
which means he believes he, me experienced enough to expound upon his explanations. At last, the recognition I so rightly deserve. Okay. With the utmost care. Oh, Frabjuste. <laughs> Kalhu, Kalei, that I should be chosen to guide this woman. Yes, I, Hahasako, greatest of Professor Lambertian's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your, quarry your quarry. Your timing is impeccable, in fact, for I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall for my personal research. There, the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with the bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that that not but a precise or sorry, not but a perfect piece will satisfy your high standards, in which case you must needs descend to the deepest depths amidst the flowing waters and the murderous mirror nights lies the most fantastic formation I have found this far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it to separate a small fragment from the large cluster. Place it within the warded pot and bear it back to me for inspection. The path which leads from Burgundy Falls to the base of the burning wall is treacherous and terrifying, but advance with appropriate caution and you shall surely survive. Okay. So we're heading east. We're delving into some territory we have not gone before. Past some some cute little sheep looking things. Look kind of like fluff balls, I suppose, than sheep. They're called furbles. Possibly a play on furbies. And there is a like a larger golden furble. That is a um, fate monster. It's real, real key on it. it. Does like to cast arrow, which is the wind spell at me. Rather rude. But I'm also poking it a lot with a sharp stick, so understandable. Extract some materia here. Boom, 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 boom. We are in a tunnel-y cave system. There are some crystals of various color. Oh, they're mostly kind of orangish, orangish crystals. They're big, big crystals, like human-sized. And then bigger when you get kind of into this area more. Um, I need to go this way. There are some. Oh, I need to kill these mirror knights, which are kind of like dark huh. armored birdmen. And then to describe the new attack that we got. Um, well, the one that's our our, our second closer um, is like a she she spins the spear for one strike quick, spins the spear the other way for the other strike quick, and then I think there's a thrust. It looks like a thrust. Like, I'll have to see it again, but it looks like a thrust to finish to finish it off. And it goes choo, choo, poo, in a very quick succession. Because, you know, it's only happening within the span of a, a second and a half. Let's see it again here, folks. Put the replay on. Oh, no, they're just... It's just swipe, swipe, thrust. So, spear, swipe, spear, swipe the other way, and then thrust. Gotta kill one more of these for ah. my hunting log.
cars get a little tripped up about the right way to go here because I gotta go there's one more is it this way this is the way I came though dang it this makes me feel a little bit dumb too like the pathway is supposed to be obvious and I just miss it but no there's there's a path freaking somewhere. Could. Nope, can't even jump down. Dang it. It's back here? There's nothing. I can't, I can't get back here, so it's not back there. It looks like it's back there. Um. Okay. Well. It's over here? It is over here, you bastards. Wait, is it? Is it? Yes, down, 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 good. A lot of kind of like just stone pathways. It's like, not man-made stone though, just natural stone bridges. I mean, they could have been carved at some point in time, but then like, the stone itself wasn't made by people. And there's like this kind of largish, tallish outcropping of yellowish crystal. The quarrying mall is the advanced research tool we were given. And we smack the crystal. And then we use the warded pot to gather. And then there's this, there's this interestingly like, it looks more like rock than crystal, but it's like one of those well-colored rocks. It almost kind of looks like oil. Pretty cool. But that was kind of a natural bridge of polished, dark bluish blackish rock. Pretty sweet. I'm really not the best at describing things, and it's not, I don't know how to get better at it. I will probably end this, well, it's, it's a long enough video, obviously, but I gotta talk to this person at High Bridge. There's really not a faster way to get there than running on the Chocobo, like I am now. And then after that, I gotta turn in the quest. And then this video will be complete. Because it's long. Haha, <laughs> Sako! Ashitaka, I see you've come glumping back. Have you the crystals then? Hand over the jar. What a prodigiously large and lovely crystal. Professor Lambertian will doubtlessly will doubtless chortle with joy when you present it to him in person. Oh, and upon your return, do you remember to recount how I helped you with your har do recount how I helped you with your harvesting? Uh, I can actually just teleport here to dry bone, spend a hundred gill on it. And then back to, back to life, back to Lambertian. My keen scholar sense uh, tells me that you've obtained a cr corrupted crystal, am I right? Hand over. If you would grant me a moment to examine the crystal. Ah, it is as you desired, a corrupted crystal overflowing with wind aspected aether. Hmm, remind me, for what purpose did you intend to use this crystal again? What? To breach a barrier comprised of wind aspected aether? Oh dear, that may prove problematic, as this crystal would only serve to strengthen the barrier. 
I suppose I am at fault for not inquiring as to your objectives from the start. Had I known your intent, I would never have sent you to Haasako. But what is science if not trial and error? And can you truly say that this failure has taught you so nothing? Think, woman. You now understand the methods necessary to safely collect the cor corrupted crystal. You will doubtless have no difficulty doing so once more. What's more, the crystal you collected can serve as an invaluable resource for the ethereal studies conducted by the students of Baldessian. You've heard of them? Well, I don't mean to boast, but I have a professional relationship with the organization. Not as equals, of course. I would never be so bold as to claim that level of expertise. Are you all right? Your eyes seem to have glazed over for a moment. Anyway, I shan't keep you from your task. You've still a corrupted crystal to find. Yeah, dude. Thanks. Oh, I know. No, no, no. All right, that's the end of this quest. That's the end of this video. Time to get food. Kind of going a little further along the way. And I'm probably going to make another video tonight. Probably. We'll see. I've been doing a lot. And I kind of just want to kick back maybe a little bit. But we'll see. Later.